Hi. In this previous video, we had seen how to tilt a tool axis uh, with a specified angle using lead lane in the tool axis page, right? So this video, I will show you how to apply with an example, the same part, it's nothing different. Uh, so what we are going to do is, we are going to apply the lead lean functionality, but using a some uh, some different tool path strategy and how it will work, how to tilt it actually. Uh, before that, uh, so what I'm doing is, I'm going to shorten the holder profile, uh, just I'm having uh, 15 mm only, okay? Uh, so, if you look at the sidewise from here, I will call Control T to get the tool uh, wireframe. So you can see that you cannot complete this one using a vertical axis, right? So the holder will hit, okay? So what we are going to use here is using the lead lean functionality, we are going to tilt the tool. Uh, the, now we, we are going to learn about which uh, angle you have to define also, whether you want to input in the lead or in lean, okay? Okay, so here uh, I'm using a surface finishing strategy. It's a very simple one. I'm selecting the sidewise to show an example here. Uh, in this one, uh, before pro proceeding, you just say preview here so that you can know how the tool path is going to generate. So in this case, it is vertical. I don't want to be in vertical actually. So I will change the pattern to V. Okay, again, I'm going to preview it. You can see the, it is uh, in uh, in the way of surface I would like to have, and also two way actually. So two way is uh, any milling almost. So now it is finished. Now coming to the tool axis page. Uh, now I have uh, going to select lead lean, but in this case, which angle I have to tilt? That is the uh, decision here actually. So in this case, we as I already told you that if the tool want to be tilt along the uh, direction of travel, you have to put the angle in the lead. If you want to tilt away from the direction of travel, you should be put in the lean actually. So in this case, the direction of travel will be like this, right? But so, but I have to tool, tool, tool must be tilt away from the surface. That means away from the direction of travel, okay? So before that, uh, I. I'm going to change to one way again because to make clear understanding, okay? Um, so here in the lead, I will put zero. In the lean, I will put 30 degree so that it will be tilt more actually. Uh, I don't know whether it is minus 30 or plus 30. I'm just simply, I'm to basically understand how it works. Uh, I put 30 degree here. I just calculate, right? Um, I see the simulation of this just, simulation of this and just attaching yeah i just move exactly the right way i i look at actually then you can see that it tilted exactly right so and then it is moving actually so this is what i needed this is the example of uh, lead lean so when you want to tilt the tool to a certain degree you can use the lead lean tool axis definition so that you can avoid the collisions or maybe if you want to run a specific profile in a desired angle, you can use this an example of lead lean actually. You can able to tilt in different angle also. So let's say if you go to this page, all right, again lead lean. So if you put again 30 degree here, I just recall this one, okay. Then what will happen? It will be, uh, it will be, tilted in both the axes actually, okay, right? You can see that it from the top also it is tilted and from this one also it get tilted actually. So two in both the direction it is getting tilted and you can able to machine it in a specific angle actually. Okay, this is an example of lead lean uh, with a simple tool path strategy actually. 